World War I, one of the deadliest conflicts in history, witnessed acts of compassion and humanity amidst the brutality of warfare. One such remarkable occurrence was the organization of burial truces, brief respites from combat that allowed soldiers to honor and bury their fallen comrades. This article delves into the intricacies of how a burial truce was organized during World War I and the profound impact it had on the soldiers involved. I the imperative of a burial truce, of the grim reality of the battlefield, the trenches of World War I were fraught with unimaginable horrors, and the sight of fallen comrades strewn across no man's land was a haunting reminder of the cost of war. A burial truce was a vital necessity to afford the dead a semblance of dignity and to mitigate the psychological toll on the living. The sanitary concerns and tactical considerations. Unburied corpses posed significant sanitary risks, potentially leading to outbreaks of disease. Additionally, the presence of decomposing bodies could inadvertently reveal troop positions, making a burial truce a practical and tactical choice. 2. Communication and Negotiation a liaison officers and truce envoys. Organizing a burial truce necessitated communication between opposing forces. Liaison officers, appointed representatives from both sides, played a critical role in facilitating negotiations and ensuring compliance with the truce. Be chaplains as mediators. Chaplains, respected figures with influence on both sides, were often instrumental in brokering and mediating truces. Their moral authority, shared commitment to honoring the dead, and neutrality made them effective facilitators. 3. Timing, Duration, and Logistics A Mutual Agreement Both sides had to willingly agree to the truce, often specifying a predetermined duration, to ensure it was observed by all combatants. The designated time and location The truce was scheduled to occur at a specific time and location, usually communicated in advance through appointed liaisons. This allowed for coordination and minimized the risk of misunderstandings. IV. Observance of the truce, a temporary cessation of hostilities. During the burial truce, combatants on both sides refrained from engaging in active combat. Weapons were temporarily set aside. B. Burial activities. Soldiers from opposing sides ventured into no man's land, often under the watchful eye of chaplains or neutral parties, to retrieve and bury the fallen. This summer process was conducted with great care and respect. V. The profound impact. A shared humanity amidst adversity. The act of honoring fallen comrades together fostered a sense of shared humanity amidst the brutality of war. Soldiers on opposing sides momentarily saw each other not as enemies, but as fellow human beings experiencing the same pain and loss. The psychological relief and reflection. Participating in a burial truce provided soldiers with a sense of closure and allowed them to process the emotional toll of warfare. It offered them a moment of reflection, reminding them of the profound human cost of the conflict. The organization of a burial truce during World War I stands as a testament to the enduring humanity that persists even in the darkest hours of war. These fleeting respites from the violence allowed soldiers to pay their respects to fallen comrades and find solace in shared grief. In these moments, the true toll of war was laid bare, underscoring the universal desire for peace and the recognition of our common humanity.